What's up everybody, Remington from Impulse Creative and today we're gonna talk about how to build out a conversational marketing conversation. So it's really hard for some people to think about a conversation when they're trying to understand who the audience is and then figure out the different ways that they can go. And a lot of times it's not as complicated as you think. Think about how you text message, right? It's very direct and very responsive to whatever someone is asking a question about. And the good news is, is with a little bit of thought and a, and a little bit of perspective, it's not very hard to do at all. So what I'm gonna show you today is a how we use a template at Impulse Creative to create these conversational, uh, these conversational messages and to take the prospect along in a journey. So this chatbot playbook that we can build out can get a little complicated in Drift or other tools because you're worrying about features and conditions. What we have to focus on is the actual conversation that's happening. And so what we've done is we've made a real easy template in Google Sheets that you can follow and you can use and you can copy as well. The link will be below in the comments or the description of this video. What we're gonna do is just jump right in and I'm gonna kinda show you some of the areas you can get stuck in in Drift, but then I'm also gonna show you the template and how you can start to think about and how you can start to plan a conversation that helps the prospect through. So what you're seeing here is our offline bot for Impulse Creative and you can say we've got a lot of different um, criteria, buttons, keywords, and we go in and we start asking some, some you know, detailed questions. There are quite a few things that happen in regards to skipping to different questions and skipping entire sections of the questions you know, all the way through. But what we wanna do is be able to plan this a little bit better. And we don't wanna have to worry about pressing buttons and then figuring out which direction people should go. So what we've done um, on our conversational uh, marketing blog that we did, we actually, outline all of these sections and how to think about a conversation. You could do it in a more of a user story point of view with sticky notes and a, and a dry erase board. But the other thing that you can do is keep this all online and you can use a tool like the one I'm about to show you. So once you jump into our template, you can go ahead and you can clone this um, and you know and make it awesome and if you do something better please share it back and I'd be love to share it with the audience but what we do is we want to create this user story and the user story is specific to a particular intent so when you think about that in a drift playbook you have the option of you know taking a button and that taking someone down a completely different path you would actually want to use this template for one of those paths and then of course you could merge them all together into a conversation. But start small and start to measure what's working and where people start to fall off. And I caution you to ask the questions from the user after you create value. But what you can see here is I've got a simple template, but this, um, this template we have in this column is you wanna place the answers or potential keywords that are available in the conversation in column A we would want to place fields that we would want to merge over into Drift or into your CRM in column D. And then you're probably going to want some planning notes, especially if you're collaborating about this with anyone else in column E. So you can see I've got this, um, I've got this chatbot and prospect uh, conversation kind of designed out. Um, and I've got this example here for the sake of the template. But what I'm going to do is just scroll down to show you how this works. So obviously the chatbot would initiate if it's gonna be a pop-up, and essentially what you can do is just start typing. So we've made it so that the conditional fields come up and it looks like a actual chat bubble. And then what we can do is you can literally just start having this conversation with yourself once you understand who the user is, and you can go through and you can start just typing in the items that you would like to do. So for this example, we're gonna say that this person is interested in careers. So what we've done is we've just gone through and we've essentially filled in all of these fields and you can start to see that this can begin to be a conversation. It allows for you to change things on the fly, get approval, and it can all be done without having a whole bunch of people in a platform. So 
Once you see this template and it starts to be fleshed out, you can get it approved, you can plan out the other keywords, and in the future you can always see from a high level what your conversation is designed to look like, and then of course make changes in Drift or HubSpot or any other tool. But with Drift, it allows for you to know when you wanna to jump to other questions and you can itemize all of this stuff out in the notes so that it, you can go in and very systematically create a conversation that works right from the beginning. So this was the example on how to implement. If you have any other questions about how to start a chatbot conversation or you are interested in how to take this even further, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to help and keep the conversation going. I'm Remington with Impulse Creative, and if you've loved what you've seen here, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to see some other tutorials, please go ahead and do that right here. But until next time, have a great one.